Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I wanted to do a morning skincare routine. I get a lot of questions as to what my skincare routine is and if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should be following me because I always like to talk about products that I'm obsessed with. My Snapchat, I don't like to really talk about like PR and makeup that I get in the mail. I like to talk about products that I'm genuinely obsessed with and using. So because my Snapchat could get a little bit ratchet. So. <laughs> Sometimes I show skincare on there and I know that Snapchat like deletes after 24 hours, so that really sucks. I want something to live on my channel because I haven't done a updated skincare routine in like a while and my skincare routine has changed. As you can see, I have nothing on my face. I literally just washed it and I'm gonna show you exactly how I get ready every morning when it comes to lotions, potions, creams, all of the above to help my skin with discoloration, fine lines, and just like help it hydrate and stay young and pretty forever, hopefully. <laughs> I don't need, like this is the intro. I don't even have to like do like a little cut. Well, let's add a cut right here. <laughs> so to begin, I like to cleanse my face every morning. My favorite face cleanser, this is the Philosophies Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This one is, I believe, the medium sized one. I have the large one that I like to refill because this is the one that I put on my actual bathroom counter. I'm obsessed with it. And what I use is, I like to use the Clarisonic. I use it every morning and every night. And this one is different because this is the guy one. It's designed for the bristles to also work with like the skin where you shave because that skin could be very like sensitive or I don't know what the hell it is. This one is designed for that. I got this one for free from Clarisonic. They sent it to me and I've been obsessed with it. And basically I just turn it on. Oh, look, it has water in it still. But yeah, it has two different modes, you guys. Mode one is just the regular cleansing and then mode two is more of like an exfoliating cleanser. And all I do is I just spray this on top or sometimes I just put this on my hand and I layer it all over my face and then I go in with this. It works both ways. I've noticed that it has cleared my skin immensely, especially with the exfoliating. It's not a rough exfoliating that can be done every single day, which I really like. Like I do it every morning and every night. The level two exfoliating I do maybe like once a week. I don't like to do it all the time. So I leave it on one and it just kind of like takes off all the dead skin from that day. It takes off everything. It really, really helps. If you've never tried a Clarisonic, I actually haven't tried one up until recently. I know they're expensive, so I would definitely save up for it. If you can save up for it, do it. It's worth every single dollar. I, I've had it now for two months. The little face still looks pretty brand new. This, well, the, the, I don't know what this is called, the brush brush. Still looks pretty new and I really like it. So I just did that off camera. I washed my face off camera. What I like to do next is I like to start off with my eyes. This is the philosophy time in a bottle for your eyes. I've used the time in a bottle for your face and I really, really loved it. But I've found other serums for my face that I'm obsessed with that just technically work better. But I've used the La Mer eye cream. I've used the Drunk Elephant eye cream. I've even used the It Cosmetics eye cream. This is still my favorite because when you pump it, look, you can see it's like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in person it has like a coral kind of like shade to it. And I always like to put it on my ring finger and I go with both fingers. And basically all I do is I tap it underneath my eyes, make sure there's like an even balance of serum. And the reason why I like it is because of that coral color. Once it really settles into the skin, it helps with dark circles underneath the eyes. So every other eye cream helps with just like fine lines. And this helps with fine lines. This one, I believe, it's still pretty pricey, but it lasts me a really long time. I will say that even though it's small, it does last a really long time. All right here. I never rub because that area is really sensitive that if you pull the skin, eventually you can cause like premature wrinkles. So I just like to tap it on, not too much pressure. And that's the eye cream. That's literally all I do for eye cream. I don't do this every morning, but I do it every single night. I might do like a separate nighttime skincare routine because my nighttime skincare routine, it's a lot more products. I will say that. But these are the Neutrogena Night Cleansing Pads. These are acne stress control. I'm obsessed with these. I snap these all the time. Oh my God, it smells like alcohol. This doesn't smell good. <laughs> my friend Jesus, my best friend from like high school, has bought like cleansing pads and they're for like acne and he like lived for them, but they were from like a dermatologist's office. And I was like, fuck, I want some, but I don't have time to go to the dermatologist. So I literally looked on Amazon Prime and these were the ones that were on Amazon Prime. I'm obsessed with ordering stuff from Prime now on Amazon and just having my groceries delivered. 
and I was able to order these and it has salicylic acid in it so it helps treat acne before it emerges and it sweeps away pore clogging oil and makeup. It's pretty cheap. I believe it's like 10 bucks and it has 60 pads so it can last you between a month to two months depending on how many you use a day. I like to use one every single night all over my face but in the morning if I have very problematic acne, like right here, this type of pimple, what I like to do is, I like to put this only in the morning on areas that do have acne. I'm not gonna put it all over my face because they can be very drying, even for oily skin. So if you have dry skin, just be very cautious because it can really dry out your skin. But I just like to put it on problematic areas in the morning. If I don't have anything in the morning, then I just skip this step. And then up next, what I like to use is, this is the pricey one, but it's worth it. I'm gonna say it now, you guys. If anything is too pricey, please just don't come for me. This is my legitimate skincare routine. And I just wanted to show y'all because I get a lot of questions as to how I keep my skin so clear. I don't have the clearest skin naturally, so, you know. This I paid for, this is $300. <laughs> I know it's excessive. This is like a car note. It's more than my car note. I drive a Fiat, my Fiat car note is like $240. This is $300, this is a car note, but it lasts me like two months, so don't come for me, okay? And what I like to do is I just grab some on my finger, it's basically just clear, the same ring finger, and what I do is I place it here on my laugh lines, and then any excess I bring here, and what this does is it helps firm the areas that you put it on and helps reduce fine lines. So you don't wanna put it all over your face because it's supposed to reduce fine lines. It's supposed to be a lifting contour serum and it really does do that. It's helped me so much. And y'all know I get filler and I haven't had filler in almost a year and I haven't had that many wrinkles pop up. And like my forehead look, you can see it kind of move now because my Botox has like worn off. Then I grab a little bit more. This time I grab just a tiny, tiny bit and that's for my forehead. And what I do is I brush it up. This is the only place that I actually like brush up the serum. I blend it into the skin, then I brush it up. It helps lift the skin as well. And those are the only areas that I put that. That's why it lasts me like two, sometimes three months. So it's almost like 100 to 150 a month. It's really pricey, but if you don't like to get filler and Botox and that kind of stuff, this is definitely gonna do the trick as well. And then once that's done, I like to put my face cream on. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness for redness sensitive skin. I did not get this for PR, but I did get it for free because I stole it from It Cosmetics. <laughs> I went with them to New York. Um, if you haven't watched my like foundation video where I reviewed their foundation, I said I went with them to New York and they had like an activation and they had a ton of these. And I looked at it, it's like a minty green, light, light green. It smells so good and it helps with redness and it's for sensitive skin and it helps hydrate and moisturize your skin. I saw all of that and I stole it. I was like, they're not gonna miss one out of a hundred. If you're watching this, anyone from Make Cosmetics, thank you. <laughs> it's honestly everything. What I like to do is I just grab a dollop. I hate that word, a dollop of daisy. And what I do is I just rub it only on my fingers. And what I do is I place some of it throughout the face and I do it in a, just like upward motion. And usually I don't like to like rub creams, but this is the only one that I do because usually what I do is I just press it into the skin and then the neck you rub up. You never rub your neck down because that can actually make the skin sag. And doing this, I've been doing this now for like four months. Yeah, like almost four months where I like rub it up and I've noticed the biggest difference. Try it, just try it at home. You don't even have to like do anything crazy. All you have to do is no longer rub your, on your neck down. You just rub it up and it helps reduce redness. So if you have a light complexion or if you just get a lot of redness, this really helps soothe that. And that's why I really like it. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it now for a month and I can genuinely say it's really, really, really good. If I know I'm gonna wear makeup and I'm gonna put product underneath my eyes, what I like to do is I have this It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. The reason why I like it, it's supposed to be like anti-aging armor and like all these different stuff. It smells really good. It still doesn't compare 
compare to my philosophy because this one also helps with dark circles. The reason why I use this is because it's super hydrating. Better than the philosophy one. The philosophy one hydrates, but this one intensely hydrates your under eye. And what I like to do is I just grab it on my fingers and I place it only underneath the eye in a patting, light patting motion. The reason why I do this is because if I know I'm gonna wear makeup, I'm gonna put product underneath my eyes and I'm gonna put concealer and powder and all this stuff. And it can get really cakey and really dry and it just wrinkles and it everything. So if you put make your under eye super hydrated before you put on makeup, it helps with creasing underneath the eyes. If I'm not gonna wear makeup, it's just an unnecessary step to put too much eye cream on because you just don't have to but it's super hydrating and it just prevents my makeup from creasing underneath my eye. And then what I like to do next is I like to apply my Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Helioplex. Basically, it's just a sunscreen for your face. I get this one from Target as well. I think this one is $12. I can't remember, but I, the reason why I can't remember is because this has lasted me a very, very long time. I know that for a fact that I used this in my last skincare routine video, but it won't cause breakouts. It's ultra light, oil free, water resistant, up to 80 minutes. So all I do is I grab a small little amount. I don't grab too much. This is all I grab, and I rub it all over my hands and And it's literally sunscreen that doesn't look like sunscreen on your skin. You know how sunscreen can make your face look like white or whatever? So you're like, I don't wanna wear that like on an everyday where I'm not wearing makeup, then I'm gonna have like this weird white face. But it really sinks into the skin and it melts into the skin. Any extra that you have, rub it on the back of your hands. That's a tip that I like to do. Especially if you're driving, you guys, sunscreen, you need to be able to drive. You need to be able to drive. You guys, please wear sunscreen. That's one of the biggest reasons why my skin looks the way it looks. And Neutrogena is not expensive. It's super affordable. It's one of those dumb things that people like tell you when you're young. Wear your sunscreen, drink water, don't eat too much crappy food. Is there a Chick-fil-A close by? I really want Chick-fil-A. Literally the three things you should listen to if you want clear skin, like it's the dumbest thing and it's the easiest thing, but it's the most honest thing. So wear your sunscreen, drink a ton of water. I like to drink at least three bottles of water a day. I know people say like eight glasses of water. Fuck that, I can't drink that much water. Like, no, I'm not doing that. I like, I like my soda, but if you can incorporate as much water as possible, sometimes I drink coconut water, which really hydrates and then don't eat too much bad food. No, I don't do Kirkland. I do Vita Coco, like Rihanna. And then for lip products, I have two lip products that I like to use. I honestly, I'm not the pickiest when it comes to lip products. I have a La Mer lip balm that I use. I have a Tatcha lip balm that I use. I have this one by It Cosmetics that I like to use, which I like because it has a little magnet on it. This one I got from Pacifica. It just smells like coconut. This is the one I have on right now. Lip balm is lip balm, but I don't like to wear lip balm. I only like to wear it on at night. So I cake it on at night and then I go to sleep. In the morning I wash it off and my lips are hydrated. And then my favorite thing, make sure you use a butterfly clip to clip your hair back. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that is my skincare routine. If you want to see my nighttime skincare routine, it's not similar. It has six more products. <laughs> I use like a total of 10 products for my nighttime skincare routine. Let me know down below if you want to see that in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite skincare product is, especially that helps with fine lines, with wrinkles, with acne with anything. I like to just try different skincare products. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time.